What's up everyone, welcome to the show. It's Wednesday, deload week. So this is gonna be a really nice and easy workout for everybody that's been doing uh, the whole phase, phase seven, getting ready for phase eight uh, next week. So enjoy it while you can, because this is gonna be very cruisy. Wednesday is a little bit, well, a lot more cruisy anyway, and uh, Wednesday and deload week is gonna be real easy. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, Tribe, if this is the first time you are joining us, let me introduce us again. <laughs> of course, in front of the camera, we got Rad Bormeister. Behind the mic, to the right of me, we have Will Purcell. Behind the mixer, we have Richie, the rig, and of course, I am Yanni Bormeister. We are Unity Gym and the Unified Movement System. Every single workout is gonna have a balance in strength, flexibility, and fitness. So you can unleash your inner athlete. Today, of course, we're doing straight arm scapular strength. So this is a, uh, a really important calisthenics conditioning workout. It's also great for upper body posture. Usually in the unified movement system, we give you two options on Wednesday. You do the straight arm scapular strength or the athletic strength development, which is more of a glute focused workout. Hip stability. Spine mobility. 
On that note, spine mobility, these movements are of course taken from our Spine Mobility Masterclass, which is on sale this weekend. Anyone who has any type of back pain or discomfort or suffers stiffness in the back or neck, you have to have that program in your toolkit. It is phenomenal, it is life-changing, it is game-changing, and uh, you have an opportunity to grab it this weekend. Make sure you are either on our Movement Mastermind group or in our inner circle and getting the daily emails, otherwise you won't get that exclusive invite. How are you, Will? I am very good, thank you, Yanni. I had a good sleep last night, unlike the night before. I like to uh, know Tribe. I spoke to a few people yesterday saying I had a bad sleep and I don't think a single person wrote back saying, oh, I slept well. Everyone seemed to have had a bad sleep. And I saw some okay, interesting routine. facts about being in lockdown and the lack of social interaction has been giving everyone really funky, vivid dreams. Yeah, so, social anxiety. Yeah. Socializing so. is actually a skill that you have to practice and uh, yeah, it's, it's, I've, been, I've been reading a lot about this too. Hey guys, I want to uh, quickly congratulate you having a golden cross, 20 likes, 20 watching live. If you yeah. haven't already, smash that like button. Please also use the social share button. Share it to one of your favorite social media platforms. Uh, it does really help us uh, validate the content, it helps YouTube validate the content, and uh, it's the only way that YouTube will serve the content up to other random people who need a bit of exercise. Also, quickly remember before we go on and give some shout outs to the tribe, there are links in the description to Best pick up the full yourself. at home workouts program. There is also a link in the description for you guys, any supporters of the channel, to get a 50% lifetime discount of our UMS online coaching. The online coaching, of course, gives you a 30 day free trial as well. And you get access to both the gym and home workouts and the group coaching and private group coaching uh, group. And uh, we've got the merch link in the description. We've got the Movement Mastermind Facebook group link in the description and our blueprints. If you want to subscribe to the email list, the blueprint downloads the fastest way to do that. Will, who have we got on the stream? We've got a solid tribe on the stream this morning. Gunnar oh, Nelson for the top spot. Good morning, Gunnar. Uh, Martin Cudels is in the house, as well as Kurt Dyer, Dave Clark, Dave Good. G'day, Dave. Uh, Diane Norbury, Andy Lawson is here, Patricia Sturbys. Um, Roy Stern, Stern, Felixion, Simon Morgan, Margo Sawyer, Vinnie Brown. Vinnie Brown is saying, morning tribe, starting to feel more rested. Saw some nice endurance gains in the last night's Taekwondo class. Makes it much more fun. Yeah, it's always nicer when you can actually survive the, the workout. Uh, Lee Clark is also here, the Gillespie Gang and Dal Jit. Yeah, Vinnie Brown is just tight in as well about the sleeping he's saying he slept fine no social anxiety here i never like it when it gets too peopley outside more of a loner <laughs> some of us are introverts some of us are extroverts 23 likes 23 on the live stream we are crushing it this morning tina you good morning everyone hey, just tina. thought i'd say hello have been doing the workouts in the afternoon and loving them that's fantastic oh, great good stuff yeah, tina nice great it's to really hear from cool. you Great to hear from you, mate. Morning, Tina. I just ran into Will out on the uh, the other Will out on the street. Not me. On the way here. Okay, core activation. He seems pretty keen to get back into the gym. I bet. Will is a big regular of ours. <laughs> he must be suffering. All right, tribe. Last part of the warm up. Let's get that body positioning drills done for the core. Get your abdominals, get your obliques, get your erector spinae <laughs> muscles all fired up. Great to see Change. Dave Good has tuned in this morning. I've got a call with David um, in about an hour and a half. So David and I are connecting over Google Meet or Zoom calls just to have a chat about the online subscription. And of course, that call is open to anyone who is looking to do the 30 day free trial which is the second link in the description, I believe. Okay. You can link up, talk about how to get the most out of your training and smash some lockdown goals. All right, Tribe, warm-up's done. Let's get into it. Really? 
really enjoying my cup of coffee this morning. Mm. Don't know why. Been for a nice walk over the bridge already. Got up at five o'clock. Oh. <coughs> it was cold this morning. It was only eight degrees when I got up. Are you a morning person, Yanni? Absolutely not. No? No. Never mind. But I really enjoy the feeling of getting up and going in the morning after the fact. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. part of actually getting up is painful. Uh, I not actually enjoy <laughs> doing it, but I have done it and I feel amazing for it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I always, I always feel amazing afterwards. <laughs> I don't know if anyone actually, I, like, I could be wrong. I just can't imagine anyone really enjoys that moment when the alarm goes off and yeah. <sighs> warm in bed and it's cold and wet outside. And if there is someone, yes! there, get up. there is someone who enjoys it. I think it's Darnie, who trains with us at 5:30 in the mornings. Oh yeah. He said he just loves getting up early and making the most of his day and getting his workout done. But he says it in a way where I think he actually enjoys the getting up part. Yeah, right. He doesn't need to be up at that hour. He gets in here extra early. And hey, I wish I was more like him, but... Um, I do that. Oof. Every yeah, day. Rad, Rad gets up. Rad doesn't have to get up the crack of dawn anymore, and he still does. <laughs> but Rad and I have always been different. <laughs> like, if you speak to our parents, my mum says that if I was given the choice, I would have slept in until 9 o'clock every morning, and Rad would have been up before the birds started squawking. <laughs> you know? Uh, and, yeah, I just had to train myself. as a, when, when I chose to be a personal <laughs> trainer, I just had to train myself. Mm. And get this, mm. for the first six years that I was a personal trainer, I was always also a security guard running doors <laughs> at nightclubs at night. Yeah. So for three days a week, I used to get two hours sleep. <sighs> no, thank you. <sighs> yep. And, uh, and then I hit burnout and chronic fatigue at 28. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why. Yeah. I've tried. I've tried burning the candle at both ends. It doesn't work well. Gosh, that's rough. All right, here we go. What exercise are we doing here, Rad? Face pull. Face pull. Face pulls. <sighs> She's giving Tina a special shout out. <clears throat> so this exercise, of course, is really, really good for the rhomboids <sighs> and the mid trapezius muscles. Really great for those scapular <clears throat> control muscles, the muscles that help retract and depress the scapula. <sighs> Brad's, of course, trying to initiate the movement with his shoulders and pulling that towel <sighs> right up to his eyebrows. <clears throat> Great postural exercise. You <sighs> find yourself sitting all day. This is a great one to help really open up. Amazing postural exercise. Most people, most people that right. I've met in Middle the splits, 18 years that I've been a coach or working in a gym have had a an imbalance, a structural imbalance or weakness in the rhomboids and mm. lower traps. Very, very common. Very dominant upper traps, very weak lower traps. People tend to find it really easy to shrug the shoulders, very difficult to, and protract, meaning to mm. round the shoulders, very difficult to retract or pull the shoulders back and down to press. 27 on the stream and 26 likes. Who is that last person? Hit that little like button. Give us a thumbs me? up. No, I'm good. Mm. Of course, Rad's doing the middle splits contract, relax, antagonist contract, meaning he will contract the adductors and squeeze his feet ah. into the floor. And then he will do the opposite. Certainly deep in that crack this morning. Uh, the sliders, Tim, uh, Tim's made a comment there. Great question. What are the sliders he's using? They're called tumble track sliders, and there's a link in the description if you want to grab some. We've uh, put an Amazon link in there where we get them from. Is there? No, there's not. <laughs> I lie. I'll grab it. <laughs> I'll grab it. That is terrible form oh. on my behalf. How are you enjoying deload week, Rad? Yeah, good. I'm pretty tired today. I didn't sleep well last night. Oh, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, you seem a little bit um, 
a little bit down. Yeah, I'm just tired. And this whole lockdown scenario is tough to deal with. All right, here we go. Last round. There's the time. This is it. Last round already, Tribe. Let's get into it. Really focusing on the <sighs> technique. Belly button in, glutes tight. Going through the scapular push up. Tumble track sliders are now in the description. Down the bottom. <sighs> yeah, they're a great little tool, guys. We use them all the time, especially on the uh, rubber. Uh, if you're on carpet, you can wear socks, or if you're on tiles, like porcelain tiles, or, or timber, polished timber, you can get away with wearing socks. That works. Uh, fuck. But when you're in the gym uh, or on the grass, the tumble track sliders work really well. My advice is use the ones in the link in the description. A lot of them are round and uh, your toes tend to hang out over the edge mm. uh, and they suck. So we like these, um, these longer ones. They're slightly more expensive, but they work much better. Yeah, these are probably the best sliders I've come across. Yeah, we've got a couple of pairs of the hexagonal ones. They're crap. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. Just whoever designed them has never used them. <laughs> yeah. And these ones have got just that slight curve where the ends stick up a bit. Yeah, that's right. I think right. that's stopping from catching yeah, on anything. They're sort of dish shaped. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Right. You're welcome, Tim. You're welcome. Ah. Ooh. Is this Banger Boys again on the soundtrack? <laughs> Richie on the mix. <sighs> Not bad. <sighs> Let us know how your Cossack squats <sighs> are going this time around, this week, Tribe. If you've seen <sighs> much improvement. <sighs> Ooh. Red. Hey. Oh. He's working hard today. Yeah. So much for deload week. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> well, he's probably making the most of it. That was the last round of, of those exercises of the primaries. So you don't get to do them again. That's it. Yeah, remember, um, Tribe, when we do deload week, we usually don't, uh, we only deload the volume. We don't deload the intensity. In, in fact, most of the time, you still have an opportunity to level up your intensity. Quite incredibly, and a lot of people freak out when, with the concept of deload week. You may or may not know this, but this is fact. There's a very, very solid um, study published uh, about, a, I don't know, about a decade ago uh, that Phil, our physio here, often quotes uh, that, that Dr. Lane Norton actually did a great blog on recently that indicates that you, to maintain strength and flexibility, you only need to do 9% uh, volume and intensity oh, that, you, that it took to get you there. 9% 9 of the effort. 9% of the effort to maintain your gains. Wow. 9% of the volume, not intensity. 9% no, of the volume, yeah, that's right. You still have to do 100% of the intensity. Yeah, yeah mm. that's right. Mm. Yeah, I was, I was wrong. So yeah, you, you literally, do, if, you, if you've trained six days a week to get where you are, to maintain it, you can train once a week. Wow. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Getting there's the journey, getting there's the challenge. Maintaining it is a lot easier. Yep. Um. Phil's also been doing some live Q&A sessions on the Movement UMS Mastermind. online coaching? Move, no, the Movement Mastermind group. Movement yep. Mastermind group, yeah. So if you see uh, someone posting in there about doing um, a live q 
Q&A session about physio questions. That is <laughs> Phil, our physio here in the gym. He's currently mm. in lockdown down the coast. But he also does a lot of online consultation. So if you're around the world looking for some more tips and tricks or to get um, a little uh, checkup going uh. Uh, online, you can certainly tune in with Phil uh. and hit him, up, hit him up there. Or you can check out their website, uh. adpt.physio. And that will take you to <laughs> Phil's calendar as well as Nilesh Murti's calendar, who is here in the gym uh, twice a week. It's another reason to join that uh, Movement Mastermind group. It's a great group. We've got over 4,000 members over there. Uh, all people who have similar <coughs> goals, similar training goals, similar backgrounds, striving for similar things. And uh, every week, the boys <coughs> do a uh, live Q&A, physio Q&A, to help you guys uh, navigate and manage load and uh, injury definitely a bonus there's a link in the description that'll take you straight to that group you just uh, apply to join it's free to join but we do have to approve you because we want you to agree to abide by the code of conduct over there no spamming no harassing keep it on point <clears throat> another great reason to get over there is that you can join you can enter the monthly merch giveaway Woohoo! How do they do that, Will? Mon okay, here we go, guys. Monthly merch Prime giveaway. Prime W slide. Making sure you're keeping up with Rad Tribe. And as you're going through this, yes, the <sighs> monthly merch giveaway where you could win a merch pack, a Unity merch pack, valued <clears throat> of over $200, um, is to take your best or your worst picture <clears throat> of you doing our UMS um, live stream workouts. Um, you can get your friends involved, you, if you have housemates, if you have a partner at home, if you've got uh, an audience of stuffed toys, get them involved. Um, or if you've just absolutely carking it on the ground, you can take a picture of that and upload that to our UMS Movement Mastermind group and our UMS Online Coaching group with the hashtag Daily Grind and the hashtag At Home Workouts. At the end of every month, we draw that challenge for you to win that Unity Gym merch pack. Swag pack even. What do you get? You get a hoodie, you get three t-shirts, or yeah, tank you get tops. Hoodie, hoodie and three t-shirts or tanks, you can choose mm. different, you can choose the designs, the colors. Go shopping on the merch site, links in the description. That's a lot of value right there. Morning, Erland. And Kurt Dye is saying these lockdowns Sure do test your mental and physical fortitude. Thanks for keeping us inspired. You're welcome, brother. Thanks, Kurt. Thank you. Thanks, Kurt. Mark Van Zeel. Morning, fellas. Here for the like and the shout out on this to Moza. Get at it, brother. Get at it. My man. 29 likes, 27 watching live. Fantastic effort, everybody. Who's doing the workout live right now with Rad? Who's following along? Let us know with a big Y in the comments. Yes or no. How good are those uh, sweat patches under Rad's armpits? Roy Stern's doing the workout. Gunnar, Neil Gunnar Nielsen is doing the workout. Dave Clark is a big yes. Diane Norbury is getting at it. Throwing down. Always throwing down. You can always count on Diane. Simon Morgan is in the house as well. Sweating it up, getting his own sweat patches going. David Good. Martin Cudells is yes. Kurt Dyer is yes. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight so far. Lee Thompson's nine. Who's going to make the top ten? I'm sure Margot Sawyer's doing the workout. Nice little butterfly stretch there. <laughs> Will Purcell. That's not true. No, I'm Nicole not Nicole really. Collis is yes. Nicole's our 10. Patricia Sturby. Finished up about an hour ago and here to support my tribe. Yes. Thanks, nice Patricia. One. Felix is yes times two. 
How good. Uh, that's your partner, Caroline, isn't it, Felix? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you are both enjoying it. Here's two. Beep. All right, that's it for today, everyone. Nice ah. little gentle workout. Mm -hmm. Gee, that's a nice quick one. Oh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for bedtime strength. How good Felix is saying Caroline week? Caroline has been joining every day this week. How good's that? Well Fantastic. done, Caroline. All right, guys, just a quick reminder all the links in the description are there. If you haven't already, download our blueprints the 10 key principles to each of the main elements of our programs. Get yourself over to the UMS Movement Mastermind. We want to see those before and after shots. Keep those pick memes coming. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Dave Clark, coming. Patricia Sturby, Vinnie Brown. Uh, we've got some great, great stuff coming at you next week. And uh, of course, remember, we've got an epic bent arm workout coming at you tomorrow phase eight is in the works we've uh, been putting that program together filming it and uh, designing it it's going to be an absolutely epic one five method max strength program L get excited that's all i can say get excited it's one of my favored max strength uh overload methods so um, i'm very mm. excited to roll that one out I've never done it in a no equipment workout before, so it's, uh, it's certainly exciting to put something together that we've never done before. Will? Yeah, that workout was quick and easy, a bit like my Friday night. Thanks for tuning in, Tribe, and we will see you tomorrow. Peace. Health is about performance, not just body image. You better be willing to accept what you're gonna have to do to get there. We'll start focusing on movement goals, strength goals, flexibility goals. When you nail that skill, it's there forever. The body image goal doesn't get you that It's far. the consistency and frequency that's gonna get you there. It's not the intensity. There's no shortcuts to mastery and movement. Destination doesn't change overnight, but your direction will. It's the gym is not the place to beat up the body that you hate. It's the place to build the body that you love. We are the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance, not just body image.